Hey everyone, welcome back. I managed to get my hands on a booster box of Pokemon Sword and Shield Chilling Rain from the folks over at Digital Heroes in Walla Walla. There's a lot of hype right now around the Gold Secret Rares, Shiny Snorlax specifically. I'm trying to get my hands on that Shiny Electrode. The Voltorb and the Electrode with the red move into the blue, always one of my favorites from the original set, so I'd really like to get one of those. Also looking to try and get one of the new Galarian forms of legendary birds, Articuno, Moltres, and Zapdos. Preferably bringing home one of those Zapdoses. That would be awesome to add to the collection. Would also match my guy in Pokemon Go. Uh, huge, huge fan of Zapdos. Other than that, I'd really like to get into it with you guys. Hope you stick around and let's get into some card opening. Get on into it. Let me go get some fun stuff out of here. I might have messed this up already. That's pretty sweet. Snowy form, gas form. Gasly's pretty cool looking. Cub Fu. How do they come up with these names? Oh, that's kind of cool. And I guess only a way a Kakuna could be cool. Oh, and that's pretty sweet pull right off the bat. Sandaconda V Max. That's a pretty snazzy looking card. I don't mind the way this is starting off. Oh. Helps, I guess, if I know how to open the sleeves. Still looks pretty cool. Venipede, I don't feel like it's the justice he deserves. Anything that can roll up and attack something else is just... That eh, gets an A-plus in my book. Mobile Shrimp. Every time I see this guy's name, I just want to call him Pony. And I don't feel like I can be blamed for that. Walrin. I want to restack. Not so smooth with this Ice Rider Calrex back. Is fun. Doctor, doctor, give me the news and draw two cards. Deerling. I wonder if they have the other forms in this set. The seasonal deerlings. 
The unmasked is pretty cool. And a wheezing. Rainy form, cast form, Larvista, Larvesta, there we go. That's a sad tadpole. I feel like you shouldn't be allowed to make Pokemon cards that look sad. That is hilarious. It's like a claymation boxing octopus? Hollow Cinderance. Not too bad. Like, I've seen a lot of people in these cards. Random people I don't know. It's an interesting way to look at Doug Trio. Rapid Strike. And Tauros. Justified gloves. Weeding gloves. This is getting interesting. We're going to have to look further into this. Seems like a business opportunity. Air cross. Pretty cool. Like he's going Super Saiyan. Oh, Slurpup. I'd love a little rock golem, that'd be sweet. She looks like she's up to no good. Oh, there we go. Blissey V. You gotta be careful, Blissey will smack you around. It's a tank. All right, let's get into Ghost Ride in Orlando, Bloom and Onion. For those of you that'll get that reference, you're welcome.
That guy doesn't seem nearly as sad as Sobble. Because that's being an angry teenager, and that's probably what that stage was. This guy just ghost of Pac-Man at this point. There's that sad kid again. That's interesting. Hatterene. That's our first lightning. Maybe that'll be the Zapdos. That would be sweet. A Weedle doing pull-ups. Ragdoll cast form. And another Tauros. Just kidding. No Zapdos in that guy. There it is. Yeah, and anything that can just spin and attack something else like Sonic the Hedgehog just deserves respect. Can't imagine why a ghost would be sad. No. Okay. Chasing a squirrel. Monkey beat in a trunk. Okirana. Hopefully I pronounced that one right. Not 100% sure. Basically whatever Mothra's enemy was, right? In the Godzilla movies. Anybody remember that guy? Gotta be a close cousin or something. Somebody ripped somebody off. Oh, this, this one tore well. Wait. If anyone else remembers that Rudolph and the Abominable Snowman. I'm pretty sure we found out what happened to him. It's not, it's not good. Sad, sad tadpole. That's pretty cool. Rapid Strike. Yurishfu. Ooh. And a Surfetched. Always fun. About time Farfetch's got something else to do.
those weeding gloves again. Pokemon's trying to get me to work and I'm just trying to play with cards. Got those first couple of cool ones there. Old Cemetery. Looks neat. Oh, there we go. Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX. It's a lot if you're not careful. Circling back to that Orlando Bloom and Onion part. Pretty cool looking card. Got him in his own pack, too. Not sure what the odds on that are, but pretty cool. All right. Just as I was talking shit, it got a little better. little witch. Clobopus is still, that's, he's got to be up there. He's the guy I'd want watching over me at night. Inkay, okay. No. Let me finish that off with a scolipede. All right. Some fire luck, maybe a mole trace. Who knows? Lucky energy. That could be helpful. <laughs> Find a friend is his attack. Uh, I'm not sure if that's helpful or sad. Well, that's cool. Poor Yon Z. Hollow. I guess reverse hollow, technically. And what's behind it? Oh, and a Glarian Wheezing. Finish that off. All right. Doesn't want to open. There we go. Too bad. Come on out, friends. Oops. Fog crystal. I feel like that's what happens the next morning. Deli bird. Cardivore. Gardier. Mm, I'm just going to continue to bush that, so I'm going to let that one go. 
Definitely one of those. Pretty cool character overall, though. Sign out again. It said there's over 190 cards in this set. It's 198, looks like, um, minus anything afterwards, right? I feel like I've gotten a lot of repeats though versus a lot of different characters thus far. Non hollow go lurk. That's a pretty trippy looking picture. That looks like a rough situation for that guy. Stuck out on an iceberg as a zebra. A lot of things went wrong to lead up to that situation. Yeah, there's a hollow. Sneeze all up the shenanigans. That haunter is cool. Oh, and the Gengar, look at that. Double hollow would have been pretty sweet in that situation, but getting them both right in front of each other is pretty neat. He's sitting in a donut. 
Looks like a donut bed, I guess. It's pretty funny. Eh, in an Obama snow. Looks like they're getting ready for a sweet rave party. Took to LSD a little too early in the day, though. It cracks me up every time. Jeez. Score bunny. Oh, that's nice. Reverse hollow Obama snow. And. Oh, it's a Viper. Non hollow. Looks kind of cool. A little different. All right, let's get into. Some mall trays here. Pretty a cool design. It's interesting seeing them play with the some of the older ones and giving them just a kind of a new twist. Lucky energy. Oops, lost that guy in transit. Rock rough. There you go. That's a pretty cool looking Bennett. Reverse hollow. Put that off to the side. No, oh, look at that guy. K Cleon. Chameleon looking folks. Yeah, I don't feel like I got a lot of diversity in these packs thus far. From at least like a common and an uncommon perspective. I mean, okay, really? Thanks for proving my point, packs. Nice. Another slurp puff. Wish we could follow the scent to some better cards. Porygon. Rock rough. Quill. 
goldfish. So there's the Agron on hollow. Zangoose, not hollow. Cat ferret Pokemon. I feel like both of those groups would feel some type of way about that. I don't think ferret people are generally cat people. It just doesn't, doesn't feel like that coincides. All the gas forms so far. The rock rough. Sad little ghost. Oh, there we go. Reverse hollow Inteleon. And another Obama snow. That's fun. Rugged helmet. Crushing gloves. I could see where those would maybe be helpful. Mm, Porygon 2 reverse hollow. It's not too bad. Uh, Serena. in by a pack wrapper. I feel like that's going to be a common occurrence on this. Got me last time good too.
guy feels like a Karen to me. Walreen. All right. Last mole trace pack. Oh, yeah. All right, then. No right. Another one of this guy with the reverse hollow. And for the last, oh, there's the Galarian Articuno. That's a pretty sick looking card. All right. That's pretty solid last pack there. I'll take that. Noticed a little bit of dings on the outside of this guy, especially at the bottom. To look at that later. That's pretty cool. All right, let's get into these. I mean, look, he looks like a badass just from the outside. And they didn't do a lot with him in particular for these. Made him feel more ground dwelling than a bird. I love how this path to the peak doesn't even really show a mountainside close and very often a distance, but I don't know if I'd call it a path. Other than maybe a direction. Impact energy, reverse hollow. That's pretty cool looking. Nope, non hollow Malamar. So far, no gold secret rares. Did not look at the ratio prior to this either. It was just kind of curious to see what it would be right off the jump. Oh, look at that. Two Shadow Rider Galrex VMAX. Three VMAX cards so far. Two Vs. Right.
No, it's been a week. Been a while since we saw that sad tadpole. Reverse hollow fog crystal. And another Doug Trio. Non hollow. Oh yeah, friend. Thank you. Snover. First hollow whirlipede. And oh, there we go. Rainbow Blaziken V Max. That's cool. First one of these. That's pretty sweet. All right, these ones have definitely been uh, bringing it in. Hopefully they continue that path. Still got four packs to find out if we got a gold secret rare. Reverse Hollow Crab Roller. And. Oh, and the Ice Rider Calrax V. All right. This set's definitely been picking it up. Saving the best for last, it looks like. All right. Three to go. It's almost like you can start to prepare your Pokemon for, like, D&D &D battle with all these wearable items. Chess pieces. Helmets. Gloves. Next thing you know, they're going to have weapons. Reverse Hollow Ghastly. Alright, what do we got behind this guy? Your Sifu, single strike from earlier. Oh, that's a hollow too. Did not realize that at first. All right. Two to go. Maybe aim the bar a little lower and maybe just ask for a Zapdos at this point.
right. Second to last back. Clap down. Dinah Tree Hill. It's a crazy looking tree. Reverse Hollow. All right, what else we got? Oh, another Agron. Not Hollow. Last one. This is it. This is the guy. All right. I think we're going to have to look into the odds at what one of those ghost secret rares are after this. Stiffen. Followed up by a brutal swing. Things are gone wrong. Or right. I guess it depends on which side of the swing you're on, huh? Fire resistant gloves. Reverse hollow. All right. Our last card. And we end on a Doug Trio. That last bit's a little disappointing, but the rest of those were pretty legit. Well, now that we're all wrapped up with that, uh, you know, a couple of really cool takeaways from that. That VMAX Blaziken uh, Rainbow was pretty solid. Pulling those two Kylorax Shadow Riders VMAX, I mean, that, that was pretty legit. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get anything I was particularly looking for, but got some cool new things to add to the collection. Uh, definitely felt like there was a lot of just generally repeated cards. I mean, for being a 198 card set, I expected to see a little bit more variety there. But uh, as you saw with me, a lot of a lot of the same folks over and over again. So I think this might be one we have to dive into another one a little later in the future. So I'll see what I can get my hands on. Definitely appreciate everybody sitting through here with me and uh, hope you enjoyed the content. Let me know what you liked or disliked down below in the comments and we can start a conversation.